Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's video, uh, first and foremost though, thank you everybody for the views, the comments, um, all the warm wishes welcoming back. I greatly appreciate it so much, man. I, uh, I'm just very, very grateful for the Gwent community. I always have been. I, I say it to this day, the best community I've ever been a part of, so... Thank you so much. Uh, today's video, uh, we got some uh, Fruits of Yezgith Ogres. Ogre Worms? I tried to come up with something good. I, I, I just went with Big Worm. but uh, <laughs> um, Let's go through the list, though. Um, tactical Advantage, you could probably swap it out for Crystal Skull if you want to veil something. Most of the Thrive stuff, though, you don't want to... You don't... You, you know what I mean? You don't want to... I guess you could... It's up to you. I just went for the bigger because you want to start getting that might tactic going. Um, big Churm. Okay, so... This card ends up being 20 points. I... I just end up saving it for round three. I don't usually play for the carryover unless I'm just blowing them out round two. I'm bleeding them and I'm just going all out with it. But I don't really... I just like playing this last save for 20 something points plus you know all the thrives that you got you know up to you if you want to carry it over round one i just think it's going to get creamed and i i don't it's up to you but that's that's how i play it i don't know uh old spirit tip uh is with old spirit tip asleep um i did have a misplay on this one i Filled up my row too much when I was playing it, and uh, it didn't matter, but spoilers. But, um, yeah, make sure you got it only uh, eight, eight units on the row when you play that, because it won't summon it. <laughs> um, Tugo the Elder. Um, I really like this card, and I think it really synergizes with Bloody Mistress, especially on a bleed where you're passing, and you have, if you're able to keep all your fruits to the same thing, and get your get that might on both uh both rows this thing starts you know alley oop and points to these uh units to get them all on board um i really like this addition to this list i i, I haven't seen anybody play anything like this yet so uh let me know what you think uh heat wave for the ball friends it, it, that deck's gonna wreck you though uh, any anything with poison you're in big trouble uh, Nogglefar, pretty much auto-include monsters, getting to pull a gold and securing a gold next one. Uh, Lord Riptide, I really like this card as well. Um, it's nice when you uh, can get that might in the armor. If not, I mean, if you just use it for heavy removal, that's no big deal. Um, Jotun ends up being 15 in this list. Goliath, another one. Just, just another way to get that might going because you need 10 on both row. Uh, Pugo... Um, it, it depends on what you want to do if you you know I, what i try to do is get the fukas down and then you know you're you got your either your neckers or something i try to get it to where it doesn't kill anything so you want these to be like fours but um puga is really great in this list uh we already went over old spear tipped ice giants are just massive um the fukas are just stupid in this list now man i mean just just being able to go through and um It's, it's just huge. It's really huge. Um, the Necker Warriors are great. If you uh, if they're not going to pull Thrive, they just play for fours. If not, they play for sevens, which is great. Ice Troll, I'm about ready to kick them out. I don't know what I would put in, but... I mean, they, they do okay, but it's just... I, I just... I feel like I'm always mulliganing them away. Um... You are losing two ogre ogreids or whatever, but I I don't know. They they're all right. They're all right. I mean, uh, the enraged cyclopses are awesome. I mean, these things can get uh, these things can get massive. I love them. Uh, and sometimes the timers maybe one, maybe two max. Sometimes I put these man traps in here to get some extra thrive on the back row on stuff. Like sometimes you can still give it to these ice giants and 
you know, or even Bloody Mistress if she's not that big. Um, sometimes even this, you know, if you duel and it lives, you can give it Thrive. Um, so these ones come up pretty clutch. Worst case scenario, you could play it melee, maybe to get that you know, might back. And then uh, you also get a little bit of bonus Thrive out of it too. And then uh, double Neckers for the uh, Augroid tags as well. Um, it's it's a very, uh, if if you guys are old school and uh, remember Bushy, uh, he had the Unga Bunga list. Uh, it's just, play them in order. <laughs> I mean, just look what you're going to thrive the most and play that card and then keep going through it so uh, a couple games uh i surprised some people with this list i think so um a couple games once again you guys are lovely i appreciate you so much uh deck list will be in the comments and in the description if you want to import it if you do import it please upload it it helps me out a ton because i've been gone for six months so if you can if you can import it, please upvote it. You're wonderful. I'll see you guys at the end. And some of There'll be Vail. nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. All right. These are just bad, man. These cards are just. They're, they're definitely mulligan fodder every time. This. And. One Necker Warrior. Whoa. Okay. Um, so we go here. We don't have to play this right now, right? Neckers here, so we're gonna go. We don't have to play this technically, so if he does have a goofy lock or something, lead that's fine. Ah, shit, it's gonna mess up my. Ah, I guess we could just save it, right. really stings I wanted to d double up here so it's vampires so we definitely gotta go ham on them um it's fine that's fine <laughs> it'll still get thrive on it we're gonna play the fuka we're gonna go Fuka, Necker Warrior, Giant, Giant. Really? Okay, so he's used one charge already. That's that's fantastic. Alright. So we go here. Get the Fuka down. We're gonna have like we're gonna have a decent amount of power here. He's gonna lock. Should have locked this. Technically. Um. Uh, I should. I should have played the Necker Warrior. I don't think it really matters, but this goes up to a nine. I could just kill this technically. They're all thrive units though. Let's just let's just clash it. Oh, you don't get to thrive off it? Oh, that's some BS there. He doesn't have an engine down. So he gets an Alp down, he's going to bleed the... Uh, bleeding the... Thing units doesn't really help anybody.
And there's cards he doesn't want to play, right? Okay, so we got out of that. We gotta bleed this deck because they play that tatter wing and all that other shenanigans. We want to try to get this 20 point carry over too. Alright, so we got that. That. I think we dropped this. Okay. This looks like a this looks like a good hand. Alright. Alright. So what we want to do Oh, it's this too. Vampires with Sir Scratch a lot. Okay. Ah, I should have played Old Spear Tip first. Shit, I missed out on a Thrive here. It's pretty big, so he's gonna he's gonna be thriving as well. So we lost two points here. Why did these thrive? Ah, uh, that's fine. So now I can't block this. The only thing that sucks is I can't play this now. These thrive everything? Like, why do they keep growing on my side? Actually, I could just ban... So I play this. We do have a 10. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So we banish that. Play this. Or we get a 2-0. This really hurts. Oh, shit. Oh! That's actually good, though. So this engine's going. He's got to knock this down. Unseen Elder. Yeah, see, he needs to bleed this. Well, here we go. 68 points. He used his Geralt. I have somewhat of an engine going. <laughs> Whoa, sir. I like that deck, though, man. It, it was kind of wonky, but it like kind of worked. I don't know. I give, you a, I give you a B plus for effort on it, man. B plus. All right. Try one more. Frost. Okay, so we don't want to go into a long round versus this stuff. They go first. That's good. Alright. We got the Necker. We want to stack one row. Um. Do we want the Yote in this round? I think I'm happy playing all these cards but this. But do I keep it? Let's try. Well. That's fine. El Conqueror. Alright, so they are. Fitting gift for our king. Devotion. So the order, it looks like we're going to go Enraged Cyclops, Enraged Cyclops, Necker Warrior.
So he's going to play the other one here. That's fine. Your soul will propel Hit this. Hit this. Yeah. Alright, so we go here. It's pretty good. Ten piece. So this will get it to three. I guess we could play this next. gonna move it so we stack back here now that's fine so we go here here I guess next we need to go here because that's gonna put that timer I could clash this. I have to play it melee, unfortunately. He used all his leader charges. I mean, I might I might just play this now so that this doesn't grow anymore. I can always play this, so... Uh, you know what? I... Do I have the reach, though? I think I gotta kill something first. It kills the nine, right? So I need 13. I'll have to play the Jotun. I think he always passes here, but... gonna hit this four the pugo gets a little bit weird I mean I guess I could so this only gets what does this get so it's gonna lock that he still doesn't have any What's it called? I think we go back here, right? So I can... This doesn't grow. Shit. So we, we gotta get out now. That's too much. That's way too much. I think he spent a lot, though, so I think I'll still be in good shape. And if he bleeds me, he's crazy. I still have a constant leader ability. He thinned okay, because he got the riders out and stuff, but... I didn't really play anything other than Lord Riptide, which I'm kind of sad about now, since he... Um... Is he going to bleed us, do we think? He's going to bleed us. Whoa. Okay. So we keep everything stacked. So we got to get... We gotta get 10 and 10 on each round in each side. Passes. Um I'll just play this, I guess. I mean I still have a 20 point card, right? I mean that's still really good. I couldn't use the resilient, but I mean, I have a 20 point card. Like, I don't think it's the end of the world. Drop this. Do we have golds left? Uh, we could play the old spear tip, so. Uh, I think this is the hand. Uh, fruit. So 
We gotta get 25 on a row. We go Pugo next. Then we go Bloody Mistress. That's fine. That can get as big as he wants it to. Um, do I have a way to kill it? No. That's turn three. We gotta make sure we remember to do that. Uh, we go here. So that worked out well. Uh, next we go Cyclops. 18. Ah, uh, this gets us... 25 right so he's gonna eat the four all right so we don't get there just yet we play this so we'll still we could still get that turn he's gonna play that um double frost We have an answer for two big cards. Well, one big card, I guess. Ah, boy, that's a good one there, though. Bring me fish Send me be. Yes. I'm okay with it. This is going to be our target for sure. Um, so this is. Seven, that's 24, 25, so we get there. Right? So it spawns the two. I think next we go... We go two go, then we go... Spear tip. Yeah, this thing's gonna get obscenely large. We're still at 25. Um, so we go here. We got 37 on that row. Alright, next we gotta play our Spear Tip Asleep. That's fine. We're not worried about it. This is for sure gonna be our. Okay. Alright, so we go Nogglefar, Spear Tip Asleep. Those grow. Fifty-three. Oh, watch the Igni. Igni's bad. So we go Jotun back row. This this row never drops below twenty-five, right? No way. Boost an allied unit by ten. So that's that might be our. damage card there. Did we just play this up here? Because he still has to play that frost, right? Would he mulligan it? It would be for it's for two turns apiece, right? Oh shit, it's not gonna summon it now. Oh no, it banishes it and summons it, right? Yeah, so... This... They don't have dominance. Oh yeah, they do. So this is 14. What are the odds they have any more... I... I I hope this still summons it. I'm going to be sad if it doesn't.
It didn't. Darn it. I lost points on that one. Will that be our downfall there? They don't have dominance. Oh, they do. Alright, so he's going to lose a 16. Oh, man. I lost how many points? 18. 12. So I'd have been at 90. Okay. So he loses... 16. We got a 20 point lead. Does he have 20? And we still get the other stuff. I should have banished that one. I goofed on that one turn, but... Oh, it worked out pretty good. Uh, other than the misplay there. Um, hey, that's the video for today, guys. Like always, thank you so much. Everybody that upvoted the deck guide and stopped back in to say hello. I greatly appreciate it. All the new people, too, man. It's nice to know new people are still showing up for Gwent, man. That, that makes my... That makes my heart sing. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more Gwent.